Hello, people of the internet. It's Amanda, and today we're going to be talking about Watado episode five. Now we're almost at the end of the series because I think there are only um, three episodes remaining. The eighth one would be a two hour long special episode, I think. So, and according to the preview um, after this particular episode, so it seems like things are starting to really get moving in terms of the secrets and the plot, but that's something that we'll be discussing in today's video. But first, let's just talk about, you know, where we, we were left right off after the first four episodes. So we're just going to be doing a short recap on that and just discussing, you know, how the narrative is, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so... For episode 5, it's really more of Nao's struggle on whether or not she's actually pregnant, spoiler, she is, um, and how she's going to open up to Tubaki about it, mainly because of the idea that, you know, obviously her purpose in terms of entering or infiltrating Kogetsu An is just to get to the bottom of things as to who exactly was responsible for the master's death. and. Just to, you know, find things out about it as well because it's her mother that was um, at the center of this entire thing. Um, so basically, you know, there's a struggle of obviously she's in love with Tsubaki. Both of them are in love with each other, but there's the secret and her purpose as to why she's actually there. And then now things become even more complicated because she is bearing his child. Um, he disappears for a while, you know, um, goes to Tokyo for a business trip or something like that. And so she's left to her own, um, she's left by her own starting to like think about all these things. And given all the um, struggle, she figures that, you know, she's gonna, she's gonna want to like leave him and disappear from his life and just, you know, hide from him and just with all these complex feelings because you know it's getting too much like having someone another person um, a baby get involved into this whole drama you know it's just too much and so um, but after much contemplation and everything like that and just realizing that you know there's really so much more to the story than just her mother being the suspect for 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 killing the master and everything like that she decides to come back just right in time when um tobaki comes back from his business trip and if, for tobaki's end you know he's also starting to have all of these like of suspicions in his own way as to you know who now really is um and it's just this roller coaster of just emotions between the two of them and struggling you know how to figure out the the thing that had affected both their lives 15 years prior um what's interesting to me is <laughs> some of the revelations that happened in this particular um episode is that and i'm glad they already like cleared this out right off the bat as soon as they gave it to us is that um it was revealed that now's mother and the master were actually pretty much in love and this is like probably prior to them living in Kogetsuan and her mother being employed in Kogetsuan at the time and um they so and she found um in their old room she found documents proving that she that now is actually the heir to Kogetsuan she, she is the legitimate daughter um of of that is to inherit basically everything and that her father is actually Tsubaki's father there. Now, when they revealed that, I was like, what is it with Japan and this whole like incest narrative thing? Like, obviously, um, I know for a fact that they are somehow going to reveal that they're not really brothers and brother and sister. But I am just so like... This is, I'm, I feel like this is also such an Asian thing. I mean, I mean, obviously there's Game of Thrones for the West, but uh, this whole like narrative just pops up specifically for J-dramas as well. Like the whole 
I don't know. Sometimes it's like stepbrother, stepsister kind of thing. Sometimes it's like this where supposedly you're brothers and sisters and you find out that you're really not. So I'm sort of like glad they cut that off almost immediately when they revealed that apparently Tsubaki is not his father's son. And that's why, you know, um, to, um, the grandmaster or the grandfather um, is not particularly fond of him is because, you know, he's not the legitimate heir to to the family business and another revelation that popped up is apparently the grandmaster is looking for now or aka sakura um just to not confuse the things because he knows that his son is in love with um with sakura's or now's mother real mother and that it's possible that the child is actually the, his actual grandchild and so he's seeking out for her um because he wants to know like he really wants to um to maintain the family business within the family and it's it's kind of like this thing where so who exactly is tubaki's father and like how how does this entire thing play off interestingly enough so just all of this um i don't know it's just it's just this crazy roller coaster thing and apparently like the grandmaster is very much willing to you know accept um now or slash sakura because of the legitimacy and all these things and it, again it causes this entire roller coaster of just what how complex can this entire thing get and then there's the question still of so who exactly killed the master really like if if sakura if, if sakura slash now's uh, mother and the grandmaster is uh, and the master is actually in love so what's what's the secret to this entire thing considering the relationship that tabaki has with his mother as well so i feel like now one thing one thing that again and i haven't read the manga so the i can't remember exactly but the Megane in here, like another one of their artisans in, in the Wagashi um, uh, Kogetsu An, um, for some reason, I'm not sure, but given the speech that he gave now regarding, you know, how after she came, Tsubaki became a lot happy and a lot something like that, it's giving me the impression that maybe maybe there's a chance that he's Tubaki's father i'm not sure but that's just one theory i'm putting out there another thing is maybe the matron herself knows that you know um Tubaki isn't le the legitimate heir and that's why she's just so oh, adamant in keeping him in that particular stature just putting him there um and telling the grandmaster that you know you should give everything to Tabaki and everything like that maybe it's be also because of the whole resentment thing that you know she's she's in love with the master but because he's in love with someone else so he did she did it he didn't really care much for her and that but in terms of who actually killed the master now for this one i'm not particularly sure what to theorize yet i, I don't think there are a lot of things to base this on um but obviously the main suspect that's so easy for us to like push it out there is it's the matron herself who killed um the master and basically tobaki only blamed um sakura slash now's mother because she was the one that he last saw with him in that room um but i feel like if it's the matron it's just too in our faces um but that possibility is quite big considering that you know the plot is almost to its end so having other sus suspects would be quite weird um another thing would probably be that it was actually an accident that maybe you know now's mother want to 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 get things over with and just you know she wants to cut things off or anything like that and maybe um the master i don't know took his own life or i don't know or maybe they got into a fight or anything like that that's why um now mother's fingerprints were on the murder weapon i don't know but i feel like again or maybe i mean it, it's kind of impossible for him, for young tubaki to be the one to do that to his father considering you know the height difference and everything like that but we'll never know i mean things happen 
in in J dramas. So if that is a possibility, then maybe maybe as well. Um, maybe it was Tubaki himself who killed his own father, but it's just his own. Like he he just blurred his own memories or twisted his own memories or anything like that, so that you know because of because he just blacked out when he did it and something like that and that's why he has this sort of like darkness in him as a character so there you have it but basically i'm running out of like theories for this one because honestly we don't really have a strong basis as to who to blame or anything um so i'm just pretty excited as to how it turns out it seems like again as i mentioned in my intro the preview um, now we'll finally reveal the truth about her identity, probably again in relation to her having Tabaki's baby. So maybe that prompted her to really tell him the truth. Um, hopefully she doesn't have or get a miscarriage because that's pretty common when it comes to very conflicting or complex um, narratives like this is that sometimes they really go to that extent as well i feel like that particular thing is as exhausted as the idea of you know this whole like incest thing in j-drama so hopefully they don't go that, down that route again haven't seen the manga so i wouldn't know what to expect and i'm pretty excited for the next episode seems like something crazy is about to happen yet again so with that tell me down in the comments below what are your thoughts on this um any particular theories as well for those who haven't read the manga or if you've read the manga i don't know please just don't spoil it for me i mean i'm cool with spoilers and everything but this one i just feel like you know playing around it a bit more and just figuring things out and stuff like that so there's that now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me please hit subscribe thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you again soon in a new video